It's very important in reaction kinetics that you know whether you're dealing with an elementary or a complex reaction. An elementary reaction is a single step reaction, whereas a complex reaction involves two or more steps and is made up of a series of elementary processes. There are two important consequences of this. Firstly, for an elementary reaction, the chemical equation represents the actual changes taking place at a molecular level during the reaction. For example, the equation A plus B going to products represents a collision of a molecule of A with a molecule of B to form a transition state which rearranges to form the products. Secondly, you can write the rate equation directly from the stoichiometric equation for the reaction. In contrast, the chemical equation for a complex reaction merely summarizes the overall change involved. The rate equation must be determined from experiments to investigate how the rate of the reaction depends on the concentration of each of the substances involved in the reaction. For the general elementary reaction shown here, the rate equation takes this form, where small a and small b are the stoichiometric coefficients in the chemical equation and are the orders of the reaction with respect to A and B respectively. For a first order reaction, A going to products, the rate equals the rate constant times concentration of A and for a second order reaction, A plus B going to products, the rate is the rate constant K times the concentration of A times the concentration of B. In both cases, the order with respect to each of the reactants is 1. The elementary processes you will meet at this stage in your course will usually take one of these two forms. For the general complex reaction shown here, the rate equation takes this form, where M and N are the orders of the reaction with respect to A and B respectively. Note that the stoichiometric coefficients in the equation A and B don't appear in the rate equation. It may sometimes turn out that M and N take the values of A and B, but you mustn't assume this. The orders M and N often have values of 1 or 2, but sometimes take higher values or even fractional values. If the rate of the overall reaction is found experimentally to be unaffected by the concentration of a reactant, the reaction is set to be zero order with respect to that reactant, that is M the order equals zero, and that reactant doesn't appear in the rate equation. Sometimes, however, a substance that doesn't appear in the chemical equation may appear in the rate equation. This might be the product of the reaction or a catalyst, such as H plus ions. So how do you know whether a reaction is elementary or complex? The best advice is to assume that a reaction is complex unless you are given information that the reaction is an elementary process. Fast reactions involving a radical are generally elementary. Reactions of the type A plus B plus C or A plus 2B are always complex because the probability of more than two molecules colliding simultaneously is very low.